Hi, my name is Ryland Taylor, and this is After Ashley by Gia Gianfridio. Do you know who Christopher Collins is? Well, after my mom died, he started contacting me. I didn't know who he was, but my dad did. <laughs> my dad was fucking salivating over this famous writer who was interested in me. In us. Anyway. Um, my dad tried buddying up to him, but he wasn't interested in my dad. He, he wanted me to go stay at his house in Iowa so he could get to know me and write an article in a magazine about me. And I didn't want to go. It was, I don't know, it was maybe like six months after my mom died and I was, I was still barely a human, you know, but my dad wanted me to go. So I went and it was actually pretty great. So we played video games and we ate pizza. <laughs> we went to theme restaurants with this girlfriend and, you know, I I needed a friend really badly then because all my friends were treating me like Quasimodo. It was like nobody could deal. So I I started feeling good. Like, I, have, I finally have a friend that can deal with this. With me. And then it turned... It was like all the good stuff was just fattening me up for the kill because all of a sudden we can't have normal conversations anymore. He's saying things to me like, did you ever want to fuck your mother, Justin? And I'd be like, no way, man, not my thing. <laughs> Do you want to go to Denny's again? And he'd be like, I have rape fantasies about my mother, Justin. Nothing you could say would surprise me. So I called my dad and left like a whole bunch of messages, which he didn't get because he was pitching his own fucking book in New York. Meanwhile, I'm 15 years old and I'm in Iowa with this like increasingly creepy guy who's Saying things to me like, does violence give you a hard on? Because violence gives me a hard on. So I went to bed at like nine o'clock just to get the fuck away from him. And the end of the story? His girlfriend crawls into bed with me and we have sex. I lost my virginity to the guy, he, he stopped talking to me. So I charged a $700 flight on my dad's credit card and I, I kicked in the window to my house and I stayed there alone until my dad got back. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's not like Bosnia or anything, but no, th that's fucked up. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that my mother was murdered like, horribly. And I don't think the aftermath of that is supposed to be a book deal or a TV show or a girl in my bed. So it's just like, I don't know, we've, we've just buried all of her pain under all of this junk. Thank you.